right y'all i am back as promised and i think who was asking me about this i think it was headmistress you was asking me what kind of bronzer i use to mix with like my oil like this well this one is by victoria's secrets and it's called bronze and it's a spray and all i do is put this plus some lotion in my hand and i do like three squirts of this and spray it on and honey do you see the sheen do you see the sheen muscles like glistening and all okay so i wanted to be sure i showed you that so y'all i am about to get dressed and i think i'm gonna kind of wait for jada today just due to the fact that yeah i think i'm gonna just wait for her um because she should be home in an hour anyway and i've been running around the house doing little projects and trying to eat and keep moving and yeah i washed my brushes so now i'm about to beat this face and get cooked for the day okay okay so just so y'all know i had someone you know i posted my transformation pictures and i'm gonna post them i think every like 20 days because i think 20 days is a good it's a good amount of time for progress however i posted them on facebook right and i had one facebook friend was like stephanie like you give me the courage girl to take a picture and post it because before uh -uh. and i just had to tell her i was like you know what I was like, stop it. Like, for real. I'm like, this is the thing. You know, it's kind of like you got to give yourself some type of personal accountability. So, you know what? When you take pictures, they can go either way. You could either continue to slim down or your ass can continue to get fat. And you know what? A picture says a thousand words. And y'all, I ain't doing no editing to them pictures because what the hell is that going to do for me? Me editing out and cutting out stomachs and shit like that. I ain't no damn surgeon, especially not on no damn camera stephanie ain't no surgeon i am not kim k uh my body is not carved out and made to look a certain way my ass is putting in work sweat tears getting up early eating right and y'all this is the thing it is hard as hell this struggle is real real okay it's really real and anybody that says it's easy they is a damn lie okay and i also told her i said you know this go around i said i didn't want a quick fix because you know you can go out here you can buy these diet pills you can buy these latex uh waist trainers and shit like that and you know your ass can even go get liposuction okay they done made lipo like affordable now so you know what uh, you can even get payment plans on that shit and you know I want my shit to be permanent and permanent is what I'm working on permanent yeah permanent so y'all let me get dressed for this little girl to get home so when she get home we could be walking out the door because I'm gonna tell y'all my tennis shoes that I bought yesterday didn't work they didn't work my uh feet was actually like on 10 this morning while i was walking and running and stuff and i couldn't even like do heat like i'm supposed to and y'all i found out the right pronunciation of it is not hit it's heat and so yes i felt that heat in my damn feet this morning so my husband was telling me that i should let the nike people like i guess test my foot to see like what type of inset my foot has to recommend the right type of running shoe for me so i'm about to go back to nike when jay to get home and then what are we gonna do i don't know just know y'all coming too okay okay i'll be back Hey y'all, my mom is laying down, so I'm gonna lay down with her. Yeah, her resting. And y'all see, I still got the neck roll, right? I deboed it. Y'all, Rocky ain't deboed shit, okay? He ain't. 
he just uh you know when your animals get a hold of stuff it's like you know spit you never know what else might be on that pillow so you know what we just let him have it you know because honey mm -mm. it ain't that damn serious i don't want to buy me another one where is it it's around here somewhere oh here it go see got me one with the fur on it so yeah i already replaced it got me a new one and yeah y'all i ain't i ain't got i ain't went nowhere quite yet okay i ain't went nowhere quite yet and it's okay you know why because my ass is tired and i am not afraid to say i'm tired y'all oh my gosh let me just say this i think it is safe to say that next week with uh starting on monday stephanie ain't doing no fit bit challenges what do you want to call it i will maintain like daily goals and you know if i do a challenge it'll just be a daily goal challenge but i'm not gonna do the weekly because y'all i could i can go into next week saying that you know I'm not going to go hard or anything like that. And then it's just something in me, something in me, the competitor that, oh my gosh, like I'll start to see people getting close to me. And then, you know, it just makes me want to like take off. So I really think I need to give my body a good solid week to like recover 100%. And because Monday through Friday, I'm going hard and like, when I say hard, y'all, if you are a friend of mine on Fitbit, you already know. Stephanie ain't no punk on no days, okay? So, I am just really considering that. And then this green smoothie thing will be over with. And yeah, I think I'm going to attempt to do it again on the 21st through March 31st with jj smith her facebook group that's what they're going to be doing and so i think i'll give it another try then because i am not gonna lie you have to have your mind right for this green smoothie or juicing challenge like you really have to have your mind right and i think like tomorrow i think i'm gonna go by the bookstore and i'm gonna go pick up the book because, yeah, I think while I'm off next week, as far as, like, fitness challenges and stuff, I'm going to read it and get acclimated and educated on it so that I think I'll be able to do it 100% successfully when I do it again at the end of this month. So, y'all, working out is hard. And I'm so serious. It's like, if you really don't want a quick fix, and like you really want to work on permanent results, you gotta do it the hard way. Cause y'all, I didn't wanna do no diet supplements. I didn't wanna do any like waist trainers or anything like that. Uh, clearly no lipo or nothing like that. Cause let's face it, that that is like I was watching uh Shameless Maya earlier and like they were talking about like social media, the truth behind social media and just you know women, mainly us, okay, let's just keep it honest. We get so caught up and obsessed with what we see on social media, such as, you know, beautiful pictures of women and, you know, their body is just like flawless and, you know, they got the perfect ass, perfect breasts, perfect abs. And I'm sorry, but God ain't make nobody perfect okay and i'm just gonna say this too ain't no surgeon can make you perfect he can think he gonna make your ass perfect however people who think they got the perfect silhouette always seems to have issues with something leaking or you know a, a silicone implant dropping or you just never know and stephanie I am not vain like that to the point where I am about to be going up under the knife. 
for anybody. If it ain't surgically or health-wise necessary for me to do, I ain't doing it. I'm sorry, but uh, I don't like hospitals like that. I don't even like going to visit people at the hospital, yet alone talking about being up in that mug. Y'all already know James and I'm already had to break me out of the hospital. Like, I don't like and Tina, you feel me? So, mm -mm. but what they were talking about was like so accurate. And I know my oldest daughter is guilty of it. Jasmine will get into a serious funk when it comes to social media. And, you know, it's like she thinking like people just got it like all together. Like, you know, they live in this facade and like they just have this perfect life and ain't shit perfect. And I will be the first to tell y'all this. Don't ever think anything over him at the lungs address. Ain't nothing perfect. We have our struggles. We have our fights and our, you know, debates. And, you know, we have family drama. Not necessarily like within the, between the four of us, but we have family drama too, just like any other family. It's just that ours is minimal. That's it. You know, we have our struggles and our disappointments. And a lot of that I do share with y'all. However, it's like nobody's perfect and i just want to make sure i am crystal clear on that i have never ever said or wanted to portray like i am perfect i tell y'all all the time marriage is work being a mother or being a parent period is work being just trying to be a good woman period is work and clearly we all know just trying to be a good ass friend is work Okay, it's all work. So it's like the sooner that you can accept the fact that what you see ain't always the reality of it. So I'm, I'm making sure it's crystal clear about that with me that, you know, mm -mm. never ever wanted to portray like life is perfect. However, I'm always somebody that's willing to share my testimony. And if it's something that can help somebody, you know what? I'm all for it. All for helping the next sister, brother, whomever out always. And on that note, y'all, I also today on social media, y'all remember I was telling y'all about Wife Diaries? Guess who is Wife Crush Wednesday's recipient? Little old me, little old me, y'all. Thank you, Shanae Johnson, for selecting me for the Wednesday Wife Crush. And, you know, it is it is an honor just due to the fact, y'all, she just told me that, you know, um, a military wife, um, I, like, hit everything in this group, such as, like, fashion, makeup, hair, uh, inspiration, uh, relationship advice she said you know I hit it all so you know what it's just letting me know that clearly what God has instilled in me I am using it for the, the good of woman let's put it that way okay for the good of woman and that's always something I think in the back of my mind I've always wanted to do However, I actually get through other women through the things that we as women love. Fashion, makeup, hair, love. You feel me? So on that note, y'all, I am about to figure out what me and Jada are about to eat. Because, yeah, Mr. Long won't be coming home until late tonight because he got a function at a school. And y'all, this is the part of the green smoothie diet I don't like. Is that you really have like a hard time eating out that's why I don't like going on like diets because I don't like to restrict myself. You feel me? I don't know. Y'all pray for me. Pray for me because I don't know. If, I, if I'm if i struggling and today is day nine with the green juice and all that, I'm going to be struggling again. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Same time, same place. Good night.